worker reads history by Bertolt Brecht. Who built the seven gates of Thebes? The books are filled with names of kings. Was it the kings who hauled the craggy blocks of stone? And Babylon, so many times destroyed, who built the city up each time? In which of Lima's houses, that city glittering with gold, lived those who built it? In the evening when the Chinese wall was finished, where did the Masons go? Frederick the Great triumphed in the Seven Years' War. Who triumphed with him? Each page of victory, at whose expense the victory ball? Every ten years a great man. Who paid the piper? So many particulars, so many questions. Sabdar had this great quality of merging the, uh, you know, ideas and concepts and notions and uh, philosophies into a very practical con uh, context. By the time he was in Jannat and a few years down the line, it was very clear that theatre had become his a deep interest and theatre to the people, uh, that was uh, very important and that whatever was created had to be accessible, had to be taken to ordinary working people and therefore had to be of the best quality. That was the most important thing. Not that, you know, doesn't matter if it's going to the slums, you can take anything, no. That was not what he believed in. It was in fact the reverse. This space has to be also seen in conjunction with the next door space actually. Because this space and that space is owned by leftward publishers which is there and studio and Janna Timanj, the actual, uh, la, I mean the, the space I mean. The, it, it works like, a, like one unit. So the bookshop over there, the Mede bookshop, that uh, is open when there are programs happening here and the idea really is that it is it, it sort of feeds each other there's a symbiotic relationship leftward books which is the publisher came into being in 1999 and the idea behind it was that it was felt that there should be an English language uh, publisher that would become a kind of a clearinghouse for left ideas. The Space Studio Sabdar was set, was formally opened on the 12th of April 2012. But the idea really was to have a center where, uh, which would be accessible to very ordinary theatre people and where workshops and all those things can happen. <laughs> shape of Studio Sabdar and what happens here is nothing that Sabdar had planned. That wasn't there. The exact details were never there. But the idea being that a space where there is freedom to 
experiment for groups to come and try out things where uh, theater is encouraged i mean especially theater but even related arts that is encouraged and uh, that's how the whole thing had begun eftword books is is a publishing house that has been initiated by the cpim huh? so some of the cpim leaders um, are directors of leftward books uh, so the managing director of leftward books is prakash karat now i work in leftward because i am also a cpim member and i have been a cpim member for many many years now um, something almost 30 years not exactly but almost 30 years so you know i see this as part of my party work um, Sabdar was also a member of the CPM um, and I was inspired to become a member of the CPM by Sabdar. It was he who inspired me to become a communist. This attack and Sabdar soon became a kind of a symbol of the freedom of expression and the freedom of artistic expression and freedom of the expression to uh, you know in in terms of even workers expression of of demands in 1988 in month of november there was a very big industrial strike in delhi a seven day industrial strike now the, as part of this strike we had made a play and we had performed for the you know as a kind of a support to the strike so on the 1st of January we had performance in Jandapur as part of that entire schedule and we when we reached there uh, we were a little late so the audience was already waiting for us when we reached there and we started the play a group of people came and interrupted the play they, they were about you know at least 25 30 people if not more and they had uh, iron rods and lattes in like in Two minutes the place was complete chaos and everybody had moved from there so some of us had uh, some of us one person two people ran in one direction one person ran in one a second direction a third person ran totally in different direction towards the main road the rest of us more or less we moved in one way and we went to the nearby uh, CI2 office and uh, Safdar was standing at the door and Suddenly a group of people came from outside and wanted to push the door and he told me take the girls and run. These goons, they just pulled him out, they beat him and he kept saying that we are only doing a play, it's alright, we've stopped the play, chill man, it's okay. But uh, they beat him up and they, apparently they beat his head and his uh, brain stem was broken. So he, they left him there for dead I guess because he must have collapsed. How it spread, I also don't know, but I think people just called each other. And it was very clear that, uh, I mean, there was a huge amount of shock and agitation, anger, that uh, how can this happen in independent India? You see, today we don't think about it. Today, 30 years down the line, Professor Kalburgi has been killed, Gauri Lankesh has been killed, Dabulkar has been killed. There was an age difference of, let's say, 14 or so years between Sabdar and me. Despite that, it was very easy to speak to Sardar, it was very easy to become friends with him, you know. Um, and uh, I was in my late teens or early twenties, uh, he was in his early thirties or mid thirties, uh, but we kind of just became friends. <laughs> I learned a lot from him. Um, we worked together in several plays. Uh, the most memorable for me would be the experience of working on a proscenium play called Mote Ram Ka Satyagrah, which was written by Saftar with additional writing by Habib Tanvir and was directed by Habib Tanvir. Because the play was unfinished, uh, 
after Sabda's uh, funeral on the 3rd, on the 4th, Janna Timanj went back and completed the play. And in that uh, performance, lots of people from Delhi had come. And of course, the local people came. And since then, every year on the 1st of January, Janna Timanj observes Sabda Shahadat Divas. Some part of it has to do with the fact that we have books and fairly inexpensive books. Uh, people can get great bargains and so on. But some of it also has to do with reconnecting to the idea of May Day, um, which is a day where you celebrate workers' rights. You know. My association with May Day is for three, con three years in that generation. So this is actually my third year being a volunteer for the youth group, say, when you do come here, you do realize that you know there is such a charming chaos around you, such craziness, and all related to books. We have short performances, we have readings, we have little talks, we have the, the cafe which is run uh, by Mukul Manglik, we have a baker who comes and bakes for us that day. So all of this, it connects to the idea of linking up with workers struggles duniya teri shanti ko chor le gaye amri ki sab loot ke us aur le gaye The studio also runs a, a library for children, uh, which is uh, every Sunday morning. And these are children who come largely from low middle class homes. So the basic idea, the, it was initially put up by Sabdar Hashmi. His basic idea was to start a kitab ghar where the community children, they can come, they can read books, they can get uh, engaged with the books. Shanti, Shanti, coming here. Uh, we started this library session in 2016 so it has been long three years that we are uh, here working for the community children. When they were living in for example in uh, Aligarh and they, all the children were very small and really they were in very difficult financial conditions and Sabdar's mother actually has said you know I mean she's talked about it and the rest of the family knows that from nearby wood workshops she would pick up bits of wood sell that bits of nails and sell that and that's how the next meal would come they were really in a very bad shape but the books were never sold whatever books were there they remained in the house 